Hey there, it's Thomas at Lifter LMS. It is Tuesday, March 29th, 2016, and I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's uh, now available in Lifter LMS 2.4.0. Uh, it's a relatively, I don't know, minor update, um, but it's, it's packed with some pretty cool pieces of functionality that I just wanted to walk everybody through. Um, the, the main focus of this update was around uh, some admin panel performance improvements. Um, and the, the main area you're going to see that is uh, on the uh, quiz builder on the admin panel. Um, so if you come over, I've got a, a quiz built out here. It's called This is a Quiz with a capital I and Z. Don't know why. Um, and, and you'll see not much has really changed, um, but we've significantly improved uh, the, the, the loading speed and the performance um, of this page. Um, as well as your ability to select questions. So um, in my database right now, I've got somewhere around 500 questions. Uh, we had a user who unfortunately had, well, not unfortunately, but he had uh, somewhere over 1,500 questions in his database, um, and uh, it was just crippling his website. So if, if you've been uh, building uh, you know, quizzes or quite a few quizzes and you have quite a few questions, um, you're probably suffering from some of our our, our previous uh, performance uh, no-nos, which we've, we've now improved. So um, you'll, again, you'll see it looks almost exactly the same. However, when you load these, um, we're going to load in all the questions via Ajax, which exactly the same thing as we did before. Uh, however, we loaded all the questions in. So if you had 1,500 questions, we would pull 1,500 questions out of the database and throw them into this select now. So if you'll see as I sc scroll down, uh, it's now loading more results. And if I scroll again, it's going to load more results again. Uh, when we get down to the bottom. So it's going to load 30 questions at a time, um, starting with, you know, the first question in your database. Um, and then you can always uh, query, too. So these are all called test question, but um, so that's not super helpful. But uh, you can query by, by key, keywords, the titles of your questions, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to find the first 30 that match that query. Um, and then and then keep loading and keep loading and keep loading. Um, so since we're only doing such a small port number of quizzes at a time, uh, it loads really, really fast. So that's going to be a, a f the first performance improvement here. Um, and then the second one is that actually when we are loading this interface here, uh, you'll see I've got somewhere around 15 or 20 questions. Um, we would load the entire database of quizzes again. I'm not sure why we were doing that, but that's, you know, on small scale, it seemed like a good idea. And as we got more and more questions in the database, it, 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 it tended to break down. So um, now we're only actually loading the questions that you have assigned to your quiz, uh, which is much, much faster. And we're doing far fewer queries. A lot of the stuff happens on the fly or is built dynamically. Um, that way you don't have to wait as long for the page to build and for us to access data from the database um, in order to, to build your page for you. Um, just another minor thing is we move the add question thing down to the bottom right. Um, there's a little bit less white space on the page now. Uh, and the same, same thing, you know, as it was before, you can just add as many new questions as you want. You can remove them. Uh, and again, these are all going to be Ajax uh, enabled the same way as well as you add a new question. Um, and, and one thing to note here, too, is that we did uh, previously have an, we didn't have any validation on here. So you could assign the same quiz, I'm uh, sorry, the same question to a quiz multiple times. Uh, and you can now long, no longer do that. So I just selected quiz ID 1961. Um, so if I go and I find that one again, I'm just going to get a little warning that says I can't do that. Um, and then I'll have to just select another one. That one's already in there, too. Um, so, so that helps uh, a little bit. Um, that wouldn't actually cause any issues on the front end, um, but there was some unexpected behavior because if you loaded that same question in here, this mostly happened with people trying to test. Um, and you say, you just, well, I'll just create one question. And I'll take this add that to the quiz 10 times so I can see what it feels like, um, you would end up on a quiz that only had one question because we did validate uniqueness on the front end when you were actually taking it, but we didn't validate it on the back end. Um, so we fixed that up. Um, we've also added some, some validation here. Uh, we noticed that you could, um, say, have a, have a quiz that you required 110% to pass. Uh, you can no longer do that. We've added some validation here. So if I try to do over 100 and 100%, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give me a little warning down there like you just saw. Um, we also made it so that you can't put letters in any of these fields. You used to be able to, say, put uh, a letter in there, but you can no longer do that. 
Um, and uh, I think that was about it on this screen. Um, on the back end of things, some invisible stuff. Uh, we've added some new actions that developers can hook into um, when a quiz is completed, when a quiz is passed, or when a quiz is failed. Um, so that'll be fun for some developers. And then the next step of that, I know everybody's going already probably asking for it. You will as soon as you, you hear that or read the change log. Um, we will be adding engagement triggers to uh, off those actions. So you can say send an email or award an achievement, um, not only on the, com the completion of something, but also depending on uh, if they passed or failed. So you could conceivably write an email with some follow-up study materials if somebody fails a quiz. Um, and that would only go out if they failed. So we're, we're working on that. It's on our roadmap, and we'll get that out in the near future. Um, there's some other miscellaneous small changes in here. Um, nothing really too crazy, but if you're interested, please uh, read the change log that we'll post along with this video. Um, and the one final note I'd like to, to mention, too, is that this is uh, Lifter LMS 2.4.0, um, and it also resolves a, an issue with, um, uh, with our Stripe extension. Uh, so in combination with this, today we've also released Stripe 3.0.1. Uh, just a very small fix, but previously uh, with Stripe, if you're on 3.0, uh, you were not able to use a 100% off coupon if you had the Stripe gateway enabled. Um, so we've resolved that issue, but you will need to update both to Lifter LMS 2.4.0 and Stripe 3.0.1. Um, in order to get that working again. Uh, I'm not going to go through and demonstrate all that because it would be tremendously exciting, but um, there's our update. That's 2.4.0. Um, please let us know if you have any feedback on the update, um, and thanks for your continued support.